This program is offered by Dear True Hunters friends, welcome back to our special video test dedicated to one of the most fascinating and interesting caliber ever developed. The 7x57 Mauser AK 7mm Mauser chambered in the Sabati Mercury bolt action rifle model Rover 870 with the brand new Camo Wood synthetic stock. The 7mm Mauser can be considered as the father of all modern caliber, a sort of true totem to which all sporting and military caliber since uh, 1892 have had to, to be compared and used. Developed by the German genius Paul Mauser in the far off 1892, it was used to chamber the model 1. 1892 Mauser bolt action rifle that was officially adopted by the Spanish military and soon after by many other European and Latin American governments. In the United Kingdom and its uh, numerous protectorates and colonies it was known as 275 Rigby. It was immediately and widely used for sporting purposes, mainly for hunting, because it proved to be a deadly all-round cartridge. As a matter of fact, four were the main reasons of its great success. First, because it was and particularly useful in a lightweight and economic rifles. Second, because it delivers good killing power with a moderate recoil. Third, because uh, surplus rifles and good quality ammunition were easily available and at cheap prices. Fourth, due to its well-developed twist rate, it can use a wide range of bullets weight from 139 to 175 grains. Many famous African and Indian white hunters such as Karamojo Bell, Fred Everett, John Hunter and Jim Corbett, amongst the, the many, use it successfully on every species of big and medium and small game on earth. Karamojo Bell used it to shoot 1,011 elephants and more than other 5,000 African games, especially buffalo for the camp. And Jim Corbett they used it to dispatch 21 out of its 33 man-eaters, leopards and tigers. Most of its use on game was uh, with the original 7mm military round and 173 grinds around nose solid bullet with a muzzle velocity of 2300 FPS and an energy of 2,025 foot-pound. In fact, the 7mm Mauser can offer very good penetrating ability due to a fast twist, twist rate that enables it to fire long heavy bullets with a high sectional density. This made it popular in Africa and in India where, as mentioned, it was used on animals up to and including elephants, for which it was particularly favored by noted ivory hunter Karamojo Bell, who shot most of its elephant using the 7mm uh, Mauser rifle when most ivory hunters uh, were using larger caliber rifles. Bell selected the cartridge for moderate recoil and used the, the 173 grains military fully metal jacket, round nose bullets for reliable penetration. Unfortunately, I thought all these above mentioned the noteworthy features. Soon after the development of the 308 Winchester in 1957 and higher energy 7mm such as the 280 Remington introduced in the same year of the NATO cartridge, the 7mm Remington Magnum in 1962 in the US 
and the success of the more potent 7 uh, times 64 Brennec in Europe, uh, its popularity became to fade. But the main reason of its uh, gradual fading was due to the fact that public uh, started to require faster bullets to reach their quarries at longer and longer distances, a special purpose for which it was not born, at least with hunting in mind, especially in those American, European and African countries where the game became to be scarce and more uh, diffident. However, the gradual increase of game population in Europe and Africa since the first 90s and above all the development of more modern bullets and commercial ammunition uprised again the caliber from uh, its oblivion. I have personally used it a lot in Africa many years ago and uh, I have uh, really appreciated it chambered in an old Brno M98. That's why I was very happy when uh, the things around the old Great Seven uh, roared again. For this reason, I recently planned uh, to test uh, on the hunting field here in Tuscany, Italy, a Sabatti Mercury Rover 870 bolt action with a camo wood synthetic stock, 22 inches barrel, French stacker, and a detachable magazine and a commercial ammunition by Cellier Below using an Hornady bullet. Even uh, the late uh, Joyce Hornady, founder of Hornady Ammunition, was a fan of the old Great Seven that uh, he personally quoted as more efficient than the brand new 7.08mm Remington. Hornady and Cellier and Bellot has been the first companies in developing new high performance ammunition for this caliber so that it can actually offer one of the best choice in terms of accuracy, performance and reliability, still at a limited level of recoil and mazzo jumping. In short terms, with this kind of ammunition, the caliber and uh, his owner can enter in all the hunting scenarios with the renewed trust and very good performance. Due to the kind of hunting fields, average shooting distances and species of game of the test, I decided to use the best commercial ammunition available for the 7x57mm mouse at the Cellier Below 162 grains PST, a cartridge with a bullet with a very high ballistic coefficient, say 550 and a sectional density of 287. This bullet is manufactured by Hornady, a firm that sells it as SST. Hornady's 162 grain SST is not particularly well suited to the 7mm Mauser for use on very light or lean game. Wounding is relatively wide, but kills tend a little bit delayed. The heavy PST comes into its own when used on game weighting between 50 and 200 kilos, out to ranges of around 350 meters. And this was the case of my field test. Penetration is surprisingly good. This projectile has the ability to reach vitals with all on shots, more with small animals such as the little roe deer, whose average weight is around 25 kilos, the spoil of eligible meat is very low. The key to outstanding all-round performance with the 162 grain PST is um, mild muzzle velocity no greater than 2600 fps. From the lower muzzle velocity of 2600 fps, the PST produces quite wide fast bleeding wounds out to 300 yards with a slight reduction in wounded between 300 and 500 yards. The PST continues to excel be, uh, below 2000 FPS in the absence of bone strikes. This projectile requires quite little resistance to initiate expansion. For this reason, is an ethical killer even at longer ranges approaching where wind factors make exact shot placement more difficult. Occasionally, pinhole wounding says uh, real long lever shots can uh, occur at velocity lower than 1,500 
100 FPS. The cilia in below charge pushes it uh, at 2510 FPS at the muzzle offering 3000 joule of energy. While zeroed at 100 meter, it drops down of 14 centimeter at 200 meter and 49 centimeter at 300 meters. This number says that it is quite a fast cartridge with a good level of energy and particularly light uh, trajectory uh, to shoot at all the average shooting distance in the normal European hunting fields. Back into the rifle of our test, due to its old style chambering, I decided to use a stock with both classic style and more than old weather needs. For this reason, my choice went to the brand new Camo Wood synthetic stock made by Sabati Mercury. It has a nice wood remembrance, but it's a synthetic composition can beat all nature's adversities, scratches and bumps. This is a standard synthetic straight comb stock with a nice Monte Carlo cheek piece. With a small fee of 30 euros, Sabati offers in optional a fiberglass bedding. The bud stock has a well-proportioned cheek piece and a user for Monte Carlo, two very important features for shooting with a scope. The butt is capped with a soft recoil pad, very thick and ergonomic. The checkering is wide and deep as it is customary in mountain rifles. The two sling rings are situated at 4 inches distance from the recoil pad and the forehands end respectively. The receiver has the user integral screw thread holes for standard scope bases mounting similar to those of the Remington 700. This rifle has a Williams uh, rear sight adjustable in height and wide and a, a fixed front sight. The trigger of our test rifle releases cleanly with zero uh, take up at uh, two pounds according to my RGBS trigger pull scale, but it can be uh, tuned from uh, three quarter to three and a half pound through an internal screw. In options, Sabati offers the French Stacker system that I have personally adopted for my field test. The safety is the standard two position type, forward is fire, rearward is safe and locks the bolt closed. The bolt release is located at the left rear of the receiver. The magazine hosts uh, three rounds plus a fourth cartridge in the chamber. The magazine release is a lever protruding rearward from the front of the cast aluminum trigger guard. The barrel is 22 inches long, is cold forged and has the standard European rifle twist of 1 to 8.75 inches with four right-handed grooves in order to correctly stabilize bullets from 110 to 175 grains. For my hunter field test, I decided to top the rifle with the Burris 4X3 12 per 56 mm, a scope that hosts a German 4 reticle with a central red dot illumination system and a 30 mm tube. This is a 100% waterproof, fog proof, shock proof rifle scope and has a fully multi coated optics nitrogen period. The total length of the scope is 14 inches while its weight is around 22 inches. This scope is very tough and offers far more than what uh, its tag price uh, display just $600 or euro depending upon the market for a product that allows his happy owner to shoot even in the low light condition. Frankly speaking, this level of quality is available only in scopes which cost at least two times more. Well, my dear True Hunters friends, after the due introduction to our starlets, now let's go to the shooting range and then immediately after on the hunting fields. I am at the shooting range, 200 meters. I have already zeroed my Sabati Mercury seven times, 57 miles at 200 meters. Then now I, I want to make a three shot group just to, to verify the performance of this ammunition, the cellier below 140 grains. And then we will make a little comment on the group and then after that, as always, 
we go hunting. first two shots went uh, on the left, then I made some correction and then uh, I have uh, made a three shot group uh, very fast with uh, a little bit hot barrel. Uh, today is the, there are 38 uh, centigrade degrees, it's very very hot uh, and I have some wind from the right to the left but the result is quite good. We, we have two shots here and one right right on a little bit on the right then I have made the other another group of three shot very fast as you can see is now is better two shots in the same hole one a little bit uh, uh, lower uh, but uh, considering that uh, I'm using a commercial and very economic uh, uh, ammunition uh, this is a very nice result so the seven times 57 Mauser millimeter at 200 uh, meters is is right on. Okay, now let's go hunting. Hi, dear Duantes friends, for my first attempt with my seven times 57 millimeter Mauser Sabati Mercury, I have uh, uh, selected a very nice place with uh, three large fields where the the average shooting range is between uh, 60 and 350 yards, so uh, the ideal place where to test our 7 times 57 millimeter Mauser. Here there are a lot of, lo of roe deer, wild boar, some fallow deer, and so uh, I think uh, I have chosen the right place. Let's see. shot but uh, quite acceptable for the caliber uh, I've start, I have taken it uh, at the base of the neck so I'm very happy for for this uh, first attempt very nice male roe deer and now let's go and take a fallow deer or a wild boar hey dear Toronto's friends for my second attempt of my test uh, for this Sabati Mercury chambered in 7 times 57 mm Mauser, I have uh, chosen a very classic place. Uh, there is uh, a, a very nice field, very wide and long, where the, the shooting range average from 80 to 220 meters. There are a lot of roe deer and some wild boar here, so I will try uh, in the in late in the afternoon and then tomorrow morning very early. Uh, I will be I will stay here uh, in a uh, very uh, nice position, a little bit high, and uh, I will stay behind some uh, uh, low trees with a lot of vegetation, so I will try to be 
well escanded uh, here. Okay, let's go and hunt with the, our 7 times 57 millimeter mouse. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. My second male. My second male. It was uh, an almost dark shot. The, the animal came out very early in the morning, so I had to take a, a breath and then uh, shoot. It was a 189 meters shot, shoot, shot and uh, I'm very very happy for this, for this second road here with this seven, my seven times 57 miles. Sabati Mercury. Let's go and get another one bigger. Soon after the positive uh, test on road here. Now it's time to go wild boar hunting with uh, my Sabati Mercury in 7 times 57 miles. I have uh, uh, spotted a very nice place. There is a small lake uh, with a lot of water and consequently also a lot of food. Uh, grass, uh, some uh, wet and, uh, and uh, a lot of uh, small places. Uh, uh, some corners where the wild boars uh, uh, roam and uh, the positive thing of this place is that uh, I, ha I have seen uh, some uh, groups of, uh, of uh, some troops of wild boar coming out uh, in, uh, in uh, almost daylight condition and this is perfect for making uh, um, some uh, footage of the, of the hunting action. Okay, now I'm going to prepare myself and wait the wild boar coming out this afternoon. Here it is, here it is, my wild boar. Wow! After 25 years of use of the 7mm Mauser, never a drawback. I'm so satisfied about this caliber and this bolt action, very accurate. Uh, and this uh, PTS ammunition by Serie Belot are deadly and uh, a very nice female wild boar is around 85-90 pounds. Uh, it has made just 10 yards from where I have shot and I'm very very happy. I'm very happy and I hope to have uh, another opportunity in the next future to test uh, this fantastic caliber. Thank you for the attention to hunters. Dear True Hunters friends, here we are again in studio for a sum up of our test. As verified and proven during the field test, we are in front of a deadly trio that offers high level of accuracy, reliability and performance constancy and above all the true legend of the Mauser spirit. 
I found out that the alliance between this caliber and the Cellier below 162 grains PTS ammunition hit the mark with impressive kills not only of big and tough animals but even at long distances. This is the clear proof that the new generation bullets can offer a new life even to the oldest caliber too hastily put aside. So I must give credit first uh, to Sabati Mercury for being the first European manufacturer to restart up the great old mouse and also to Celine and Bello for having uh, fitted their catalogue with well eight different and more than hunting ammunition for the caliber for, from 140 and 175 grains bullets including nozzle partition, Sierra Game Kings and Hornady SST. Well guys, my report has now come to the end. I really hope to have been able to give you some useful information through my personal experience in the hunting fields about the effective and affordable trio. I wish you my really best and see you again on the next hunting field test, naturally, on truehunters.tv. This program was offered by 